Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Project Thrift 52 video. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and I started this project back in the beginning of January and I wanted to take you into a different thrift store every week of the year for the entire 2019 year. So I'm currently on week 26, which means I am halfway through this project, and it also means half of the year has just flown by. So today I'm gonna take you into one of the other Salvation Army locations in Raleigh, North Carolina. Three weeks ago, I took you into a different location, and now today I'm here at their second location in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I'm gonna take you inside, I'll show you around a little bit, and then I'll also show you anything I purchased at the end of the video. Okay, so can anybody tell me why these mugs are $14.99 a piece? Are they just overpriced or is this some sort of collectible that I'm just unaware of? I didn't really take the time to look these up. I didn't see any obvious maker's marks, but if anybody knows anything about these, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know. So I just got out of Salvation Army and there really wasn't that much that was film worthy so I didn't get a lot of great footage. So I'm also going to stop into my favorite Goodwill when I leave here and hopefully we will find some more things there. Isn't this dollhouse beautiful? Oh my gosh. So Hannah would have loved to have this about a year ago, but she's sadly outgrown the whole dollhouse phase. So I had to leave this behind. It was a great deal for only $12.99. So some little girl is going to be happy to have this.
So this next item I thought was pretty cool. It was actually a silicone thing that you put around your pie crust so it doesn't burn. So if you remember back in week 17, I took you into the Cause for Paws thrift store. So now I'm going to briefly take you into their second location. I will have the original video linked in the description box in case you want to check that one out. But basically the money that you spend here does go to help the local animals in need. So after going to three thrift stores today, I only have two things to show you that I purchased, and both of them were purchased at the Salvation Army, which was the first store that I took you into. So let me show you what I got. So I had actually been looking for a purse, and I was able to find this one that you see here. It was in excellent condition. It was a Nine West purse. It was genuine leather, and I only paid $3.99 for this, and I thought it was an absolute steal. I really love the little keychain change purse that was attached to it. I thought it was adorable, and I will definitely use this. And as you can see, the purse was so clean inside. This was probably the cleanest thrift store purse I've ever seen, so I was really happy to score this. While I was searching in the purse section, I came across this really pretty Vera Bradley wallet. So just like the purse, this was basically brand new. I could not see any wear or tear on this. It was in great condition. So I paid $2.99 for this. And as you can see, the inside is perfectly clean. There's no marks on it. I look through all of the little pockets and I couldn't see any sign that this had been used and it didn't even have that normal thrift store funk on it. So I will probably stash this away and give this as a gift later on down the line. So that is all that I found on this thrifting trip. I hope this video inspires you to go out and go thrifting because you never know what you're going to find. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you back for week 27.